Kerstin Wasson, Research Coordinator of the Elkhorn Slough National Estuary and Research Reserve. This is Elkhorn Slough, where I've spent the last two decades putting all my professional energy into understanding this estuary so we can take better care of it. It's an estuary that has iconic habitats such as salt marsh, like we're restoring here, and oyster beds, and eelgrass beds. And so we have a lot of work to protect those species and bring them back. We're trying to be detectives to understand for species like oysters or salt marsh, why has it done poorly in the last decades? Why has it declined? and then um, do some experiments to figure out how can we bring it back. And so my work is on the one hand very applied, that we're just trying to improve the health of the estuary, but it's also intellectual um, puzzles to solve and that's why the partnerships between the Elkhorn Slough Reserve where I work and UCSC are so fruitful uh, because students can get involved and help us solve these questions. emphasis on the benefits that nature can provide to humans, the usefulness of nature. I feel like what motivates me, what motivates many children is a, a love of nature and in the same way that we can love art and love music and not think about the dollar amount that's associated with it, I think there's a danger in forgetting to love nature for its own sake. Every long-term monitoring program that we conduct, watching sea otters, sampling the water quality, counting shorebirds, every monitoring program involves local volunteers, and every experiment we set up, such as this one, involves local community members helping us out. My advice to the community would be just to keep your eyes open when you're in natural places because often community members notice important patterns long before the scientists start collecting data on them. So looking for natural history, looking for unusual patterns, and then using platforms like iNaturalist or eGERD to share those findings, those are really gold mines for helping us understand changes in this rapidly changing world. I think for me, doing restoration work is inherently hopeful. We're, we're planting these plants, doing these experiments, trying to build a better tomorrow for these marshes, for the oysters that I work with, and that is hopeful for it. The picture I took is a pink pickleweed, and salt marshes throughout California have been lost to diking, turning marshes into farmlands, and so on. And so a large part of what we do where we're standing here today is a project where we've invested $10 million to bring back a lost salt marsh. And um, we planted a bunch of species behind you can see the flags. And we planted 17,000 marsh plants that are each a part of a different species. We're in the mud um, putting oysters that were raised at a hatchery out into the estuary because our oyster populations are so tiny they're no longer reproducing on their own so the same way that condors were brought into captivity and then bred and then brought out to places like Big Sur and Pinnacles that's what we're doing with our oyster and that photo uh, we look joyful and muddy because we're putting this next generation of healthy baby oysters into the estuary. It's fun to be in the mud though I got so stuck that I had to wait for the tide to come in. So sometimes it's a very strenuous experience. 